Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here and today we're going to be using the number one most popular evolution in the world and that is Umbreon. In 2020, Pokemon ran this popularity contest for Pokemon. Oh, duh. And uh, number one, we uh, I did a video on like Gengar who was top 10 before, but number five was Umbreon. Sylvan was actually right behind it, which is pretty cool. But Umbreon actually also happens to be my favorite evolution besides Jolteon. I have very fond memories of using it in XD Gale of Darkness. Obviously Colosseum too, but in XD Gale of Darkness specifically because I had like Shadow Ball, Toxic, Bite, and then Helping Hand, and I would Helping Hand my Earth String throughout the entire game, and then you'd knock everything out in return. Teddy Ursa was broken in that game, okay? Teddy Ursa was straight up broken in that game. I'm glad they gave it to you. But uh, yeah, we're going to be using Umbreon today in the OU tier. Since you guys enjoyed my Gengar video, and if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave that as a like a chat, not a chapter, but like one of the videos that pops up while you're watching it. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna use this MV team that I stole and I put our Shifu. That's exactly what it says right here. Stole MV's team and put our Shifu because he loves to use Umbreon a lot. Now, I don't know what a lot of the EV spreads on these mods do at all. But I do know what Ashifu does. He did have a Specs Machamp over this Ashifu. If you guys want to check out that video, feel free to. Uh, I am also fond of Specs Machamp. I just used it like 10, 13 years ago. So back in Pokemon Diamond. Uh, but Ashifu just, I think, fits the team a little bit better. Especially with future sites from Galarian Slowking. So if you guys also want this team, check out my website, Pokemon.com. Link is down below. But we have Umbreon. Wish Protect Umbreon with Heal Bell. I think Umbreon is actually really cool. I also love Sh uh, Shiny Umbreon as well. But being able to Wish Support to obviously Pokemon like Corviknight. Uh, Rhyperior, I think Rhyperior is the big one too because outside of Corviknight uh, with its Roost, Galarian Slowking with its Regenerator, and obviously Clefable with its Soft Boiled, plus Unaware, which is always cool that we have that now. Um, Rhyperior doesn't have any recovery, and as you can see, Rhyperior actually has a Rindo Berry because the team's pretty weak to Volcarona. Uh, so if Umbreon passing wishes to it, not only does it heal up, but also it lets us better check a giant threat to our team. And then of course we got Choice Banner Shifu right here. I'm not sure if I want to use Aqua Jet versus... Um, something like thunder punch or anything like that uh, as the last move on choice but aqua just mainly there to check volcarona but we have some volcarona checks right here especially if they're not roost you even have like unaware clef which in theory can beat a 1v1 after a couple boosts but uh yeah so we're gonna be looking for some games if you guys do enjoy this let me know and of course if you want to see any of the other top list uh i'll feel free to use it but this is a really cool t i'm fighting i'm a cry oh that's so cool um this is actually really cool. He used the exact same team when we played in, in National Dex. The reason I'm, I like that I'm playing is because I, I played it a lot with Blunder and National Dex. Always did some great games. Umbreon's role in this game is honestly not that great. I'm going to be real. Uh, the, the thing about my opponent's team is they got some giant, giant threats. All right, they got some giant threats. Um, my Slow King is so stupid good though sloking is actually phenomenal in this like it checks like everything on their team so and i just gotta be careful around the cartana i wonder if it's that like focus energy scope lens thing that he was before clef is pretty decent just all around uh but like lele and i think last time he used like a, a blizzard nine tails are all just very 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 threatening mods i like sloking a lot as a lead though i don't think you lead landris because i have her shifu which messes up everything I think you always go like nine tails if you want to get Veil, or you go Kartana if you want to start up early. So I think that Slow King matches up very well in this game. They do end up going Landers, which isn't too, too big of a deal. I'm actually going to go Harder Shifu um, instead of going Corviknight because I don't want Corviknight to be knocked off. They could just explode immediately, uh, which would hurt, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, they do knock. Yeah, I don't want Corviknight getting knocked because I want uh, Corviknight's item there to be able to deal with uh, Kartana, even if Kartana comes straight in right now. I don't need a choice Ben on our Shifu to be a threat. It's just really, really strong regardless uh, in this game because their water resist is a Kartana, like I said. So, Nine Tails comes in. I wonder how much this does into Aqua Jet. Uh, honestly, honestly, not bad at all. I'm fairly confident Aqua Jet picks up the KO right there. So, we're just going to go right for the Aqua Jet right now and get rid of an annoying Pokemon for me to fight, in my opinion. Uh, as they end up going right out to Kartana. Nice. Now, they may end up making a, a double right now into the uh, the Ninetales, trying to get my Corviknight. But either way, it's still my play. Because I can always defog, and I don't have to worry too much about that. Yep, they do make a double. Again, it's not the end of the world that this ended up happening. Uh, I have good answers to a lot of their team. Uh, so what I can do now is just send out my Slowking. 
and throw up a future site. Nice little damage to everything besides, I guess, the Moltres and uh, Clefable should beat Moltres 1v1 uh, because it's unaware. I should also be able to beat it with Rhyperior technically. And that future site's going to make something like... I, I knew the double wasn't going to happen, but it wasn't worth it because I have the defensive backbone. And I think that I can get out of a situation like this. But we'll see, though. So, Lele comes out. Now, I have one reason to have Umbreon in this team. Uh, I'm just trying to think if it's worth it because Umbreon can also leave, live a hit from the Amistar. Uh, Spec Psy Shock would be the only thing that actually knocks me out. Other than that, though, this is only there for this Pokemon. So, I'm just going to go for Sludge Bomb. Nice. Look at those expert EV spreads. Oh my god, and I got a crit on Lele. My bad, fam. Uh, look at those expert EV spreads, as Envy would say right there. So, we get rid of Lele. Uh, that looks specs as hell. To do 88%, that is definitely specs. I could have went Umbreon after or Corviknight. Uh, but, sick, because my future site's also still up. Uh, they're basically forced to go something like Moltres, for instance. I think Moltres should come out. Nothing else really makes a lot of sense, considering it doesn't actually help you win, in my opinion. Well, and the going Cartana. Really interesting, because again, I have that future side up, and I have a Corviknight right here. That's going to come right out, so... Surprise they went Cart. Because Cart should die. Oh, Cart will definitely die. Well, then again, with Veil, maybe not. So, the thing is, if I, uh, if I defog and they go for an attack here, I'll get rid of the hazard, so they actually won't like, I'll, uh, they'll die, excuse me, to Rocky Helmet, so I actually won't be able to defog. So, I'm just going to go right for the Roost as they go for the SD. Good play. Like, all around good play, but they won't be able to beat me 1v1. I just Roost again. Yeah, nice. We get rid of a Rocky Helmet, but this is why I wanted to not go this on Landorus turn 1. Uh, Amistar comes out. Not really too, too worried. I do have an Umbreon in the back that can basically deal with this. And we get some big damage off on them, too. Nice little weak armor over there too. Um, Surf could be here to deal with me. I'm trying to think what is my best option. Because this Mon deals with Lando and everything too. I could just go Slow King. I really think that Umbreon is going to live every hit no matter what. Plus I have, I, have a, I have a Clef. Like if things get bad. So they go right for Meteor Beam there. Which is fine that they were able to knock out my slow king, but um, like I said, 100% obvious, 100% uh, confident. Umbreon's gonna not only live his hit, but knock him out with foul play after. Uh, as I dodge a hydro pump, like I said, Umbreon lived that. I didn't knock them out with foul play, but it's actually worse for them that I didn't knock them out because, well, it's actually worse for me that they missed too because I could have just won with her Shifu right off the bat. Yeah, as you can see, Umbreon would have lived, but I would have liked that they hit me and could two it KO me because then I could go her Shifu, Aquaja, Aquaja, and just go for my boost, you know. And just be able to do a ton of damage. But now this gives an opportunity to not only get a Veil, uh, but also get in something like Landorus. So it really sucks for me that I dodged that. Because like I said, Urshifu just came out. Click Aqua Jet, Surgeon Strike, Surgeon Strike. And I'm, I'm not sure if Moltres, if it gets lucky, can beat... Actually, yeah, Moltres, if it gets lucky, can definitely beat uh, both Rhyperior and Clefable. So I gotta be very, very careful around that thing. Again, unaware, Clef, still super strong. But I think I have to go hard, right period on that thing. Right, we're gonna foul play here, just in case they SD, as they U-turn. I'm surprised you didn't just go nine tails and just set up, like, to be honest. I don't I don't know why they didn't go nine tails and just set up there. But we'll go right for the, uh, the Aqua Jet, and we'll get about to sign out if this Landers is actually Choice Scarf. <laughs> Yo, it's like, am I using Surging Strikes or everything, or what's going on here? Um, but yeah, we awkward it again. Actually, do I have to? I think I always go Corviknight. And yeah, the reason I think I always go Corviknight is because I can defog away the, uh, the veil if things get tough. Defog. No! You don't need that veil. <laughs> and they have one more turn, so I, de I defog again. They have one more turn of hail. Even if they go uh, Moltres, I just Brave Bird spam to get damage off on it. That's fine too. I think I always go Rhyperior here. 
I, I also, like I said, I also don't think that matters as much because they can't do too much damage to me. And I burnt the initial turn, so I may actually just wake up right here too. I just go for Rock Blast. Again, I'm special defensive, and I have uh, Clefable at the end to just do damage. Like their last move was probably like Freeze Dry or something. I need this thing boosts. A max special defense. So provided uh, right here, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I mixed up Encore with uh, with Hypnosis as well, but I had a feeling I'd wake up based on the way this game had been going previously. Um, they can't break this, and I just go Rashifu after and knock them out. So that's going to be game. They have to hope to dodge or get two as they go for agility, and even then they have to f uh, they have to try and flinch or confuse Clefable as well as this. So they get the little Berserk there. Hey, they do get it. Not bad. I'm gonna go for another Rock Blast. They may have they may rest here. But, uh, I'm crazy good guy. Saying good game after all that. <laughs> Be real. But yeah, like I said, it, it hurt me that they missed the Hydro Pump. Obviously, I got the crit on that Mon, but uh, it really hurt me that they missed Hydro Pump uh, in that game. Um, we have a cool team right here. Really cool team. I'm loving Weavile. Because I just love Weavile at the moment. I think that my Sludge Bombs and Future Strikes are really strong here, regardless of them having a Dark type, a Melmetal, and a Slowking. Um, especially because that plus Bandit or Sheep were just super, super strong. Combine Clefable is also really good. It actually just wins, provided they don't Toxic me with anything. But I do have Heal Bell and Umbreon, so that's going to be nice to be able to play off that. Uh, and like I said, I, I really, really, really like Slowking in this game. Because uh, anything they use that can try and beat it, I can basically beat 1v1 too. So I'm just going to throw off Sludge Bombs, try and poison this thing. As they're basically doing the exact same thing, they get the burn on me immediately. I'm assuming they go Melmetal after, but I'm still going to go for Sludge Bombs. Uh, this is a... Th that's two 30% chances, so that's a 51% chance at that point to get it. Um, SD, Rocky Helmet, on Clefable. I'm trying to think, is it better to go Clef? Because I want to keep Corviknight. It's Rocky Helmet for Melmetal, and I think that is the play. As they go right for knockoff. Yeah, they don't do anything. So I just soft boiled up. I did 25%. What is my EV spread on this Clefable? Okay, it's 232, 232. <laughs> I love Envy. <laughs> Envy makes me laugh. Uh, just the EV spread to use. So that's not choice ban, right? To do that little. Is that actually choice ban? Oh, okay, that's just a really low roll. Okay, so here's Metal Metal. Oh, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because if it's that Iron Defense one, it's a little bit scarier. As they end up going Landorus, and I'm assuming Landorus is going to try and knock me off as well. Hmm. I don't want to lose my choice bin on that. I don't want to lose my choice bin on that mon, so I'd rather go Clefable here. As I do Rock. Just Moonblast first. Rock. So there's Stealth Rock, U-Turn, Earthquake. There's more support, which is fair. Didn't see me take rocks damage either. Okay, I'm gonna combine up here just to pressure them to go out to Melmetal. So it can go for its attack. I guess they could Thunder Punch immediately too. I'll just weaken them as well so that way later they can't come in on our Shifu. Like I said, I get in our Shifu when I click buttons. So technically here, um, I don't have to go Corviknight. I'm fairly confident they're going to Thunder Punch. Does Thunder Punch plus Future Sight knock me out? I feel like it doesn't. Even with Rocks Up, I feel like it doesn't. So I'm just going to go Corviknight. And they do end up Double Iron Bashing. Awesome. So that's like, like I said, that's why I didn't go Corviknight on Landers. That's why I didn't go on Weavile either. So I can just live every hit. It looks like they are an Iron Defense set though. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That did nothing. Hell yeah. And now this gives me Rhyperior to start clicking Stealth Rock myself. Um, though Envy always defogs, so maybe defog is the better play, initially. I'm gonna copy Envy in this slide. <laughs> nah, we go right here, here, as they go Lando. And we'll always bring out Corvi. I doubt this is knockoff, I really do. I think it's toxic. Ah, uh, I was wrong. Okay. So it's still, it's still possible to beat the, uh, it's still possible to beat Melmetal, it just get a little bit harder. And it's alright here if they Skull Burn me because I have Umbreon to do its thing. So there's the Future Sight. We'll bring out 
my gather bro and uh, I mean you'd go for triple axle here right They're, they are choice band as well hmm Corvi's role is really good but I can't go Urshifu obviously because of their ability so I, I need to get up rocks first and then I need to start just destroying them with Urshifu that's like the way I'm gonna beat this I wish if I got the poison on Sloking I could do it immediately so they definitely triple axle here like I said and then I'm gonna take a future sight after as well I feel like Umbreon just eats especially if they only get one or two yeah that's fine as well because we just, we just protect here and then I bring out our Shifu and click U-turn because I can still deal with a Dragapult so we U-turn here uh, ideally not getting static but it's okay if we do because we do have the Armand in the back and we bring out right and now we get up our stealth rock too and so that's going to pressure Weavile that's going to pressure Dragapult in general, this mod's super strong, and now this allows me to go out to Urshifu. Because, I mean, my win, my win con is definitely Combine Clef. Like, I just need a little bit more damage on Melmetal, and I think it wins. I'm going hard, Urshifu, here. And I'm going to click Surging Strike, because, like I said, I can afford to. Bro, that does so much damage. <laughs> I'd rather keep sloking hella low, that way next time it can't come in for free. No matter what they go for, I always go sloking. I'm pretty sure they're gonna Draco though. Or right, U-turn, that's fine too. Every bit of chip. Uh, this gets in their Weavile one more time. But Weavile taking Stealth Rock is worse and worse for them every single time too. Weavile... Corvi. Still go Corvi. Especially because, again, they have to get three triple axes in a row for them to actually knock out Corvi. And I can roost here, too. Actually, I don't even think three knocks me out of this roll. Yeah. Bro, you wild for going for that. But then again, you know I have to go for roost there, so. <sighs> of course. Alright, so. This is the position I was talking about. It sucks they got that, but this is the position I was talking about. Because Sloking's there, so provided they don't actually paralyze me, even though it's like a million percent chance, provided they don't paralyze me, I'm good. I have the exact Landorus there, which is interesting because I only need Corviknight for technically Landorus. Um, but that's smart too, because that allows them to go out into Zapdos after even Dragapult and do their thing. But they also just let me mess them up with Rhyperior, so I'm not sure why they made that play. Yeah, I just messed you up with right here now. Like, I live the double iron bash for sure. My rock blast right here on Zapdos coming in. Keep it nice and low. Okay. Or Earthquake just in case they opt to roost. Perfect. So now I bring out the GOAT. Click Surging Strike. We'll be able to KO Zapdos. I still have Umbreon in the back, by the way, to beat. Dragapult and Clefable just wins because they let me get Melmetal low. So, provided they give, I mean, they have to give me a Pokemon here. Doesn't matter what it is, it dies. And they go Pulp next. They go Weavile. Interesting. Why'd you go Weavile here? You need all three to beat me there. Yeah, I would say, like, that was weird. Like, I, I mean, I, I would all, I always take that risk. Because Weavile is like their last thing to actually do any damage to me. Keep you alive. Because you get a nice little hit off at the end. Umbreon comes out. Click Wish. Protect up. Goodbye, Slow King. Hello, Urshifu. Hello, Choice Band Surging Strikes. Give me Zapdos. And then I believe I win the game with Foul Play, Foul Play, plus Flamethrower. So that should be it. Umbreon should win me. Yeah, because they give me Zapdos. Perfect. 
it's all right that I got paralyzed. I'm still faster than Melmetal. It's actually a choke if they go Melmetal first. Okay, we just flame first. I still think I win. Could be wrong though. Did a lot. I think they should always protect, so I'm gonna go for Wish. Foul Play should knock them out, dude. It's based on their attack and their strong Pokemon. <laughs> they are a strong Pokemon. But because I wish prior, I should win regardless. Because they can't go Pult. Pult will die. And Melmetal should die. Like, I refuse to believe Foul Play. Oh, it probably does like 26. Could be Cursed Body. They got the same HP. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Nice, good game. Look at Umbreon putting in some the finest of work at the end. So like again, I wish that last turn because I thought they had to protect. Because I, I'm pretty positive I've seen Mandibuzz do 26% with foul play. Ah, oh, this 32. Even their max HP. Okay, 28. Oh, okay, cool. So I won regardless of that turn. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, not bad. Look at little Umbreon putting in some work. Love to see it. Uh, again, some weird turns there, like them, what did they do, like going Weavile over Dragapult, I understand why you want to, if they got the three hits like they got a million times before, um, you'd put me in a position where, ooh, okay, Umbreon hopefully lives plus two hit from Excadrill and just clicks foul play, uh, obviously I have a lot of other ones, uh, biggest threat is like this mod, actually Buzzwold pretty annoying, but Slowking pretty cool, even though they have Tarantar, I like Slowking regardless, I love Future Sight's uh, plus or Shifus. Future Sight's plus Rashifus are really strong. But them having Slowking is really good too. Um, but yeah. So... Combine Clef is okay too. Torn is annoying. Their own Clef is annoying. I don't need my Assault Vest on Slowking. And i rather if they're going to lead Torn and Knock. Because when you have a team that's so slow than Torn, you always go Torn. Uh, I'm just going to click Sludge Bomb here and attempt to poison them. Again, you know, this would be a great poison. No, would have been cool. I'll just Sludge Bomb again as they go Sloking. I'm going to do, do the exact same thing. Basically, if I can get poisons, if I can get poisons on any of these resists... Bro, the first, the second time you click, it's a 51% chance. Really, though. Uh, so if this is Banded, this is a problem. Actually, no. Why would you even go this? If you click close combat, you die. So. Oof. Just so much. <laughs> just so much, bro. That's just so much. I'm not going to risk this roll. So I'm going to go Clef. Double back out. Expecting maybe Slow King to want to come out or their own Clefable. If they lose this, or Shifu destroys them, to be honest, maybe they will try and lose it. So I'm just going to click Moonblast and not predict. Yeah, because maybe they will. Maybe they will lose. Like, I don't know enough about my opponent. To do 40% though, is that Scarf Puzzle? Is it Scarf Puzzle? Because I have a feeling they close Comet there, so I almost Flamethrower with Sloking. But Sloking is way too good as a pivot into this thing. Because I, I literally click Sludge Bomb forever. Now... I've clicked four sludge bombs. The chance of sludge bomb poisoning after two sludge bombs is 51%. Or with two sludge bombs is 51%. That's what I'm talking about, man. About damn time. The reason I went right period there is because I didn't want them to have Thunder Wave or go for Thunder Wave. But uh, now I can get up my Stealth Rock in front of that Mon. I don't know what type of Buzzwool this is. I really don't. I'm always going to go out into this Pokemon, and uh, I guess they're going to defog here. Ah, plot nasty plot. Okay. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Can we get a poison? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Focus Blast could come out here. Uh, but Rhyperior, if they go for Hurricane, we'll definitely live Focus Blast after, as they go for Knock. So I, for sh I should live Focus Blast after. I'm going for Rock Blast. It doesn't make sense that they'd be Scarf Puzzle though, but it's something so... Okay, it's not Scarf. I was right. Cool. 
I'm gonna soft ball it up here just so I'm at 100%. I don't have to worry about Torn. Extra Drill comes out to what? Go for Rapid Spin? I'm gonna bring out you. I like them. I like the way they're playing. Uh, they're gonna go for Heat Wave here, most likely. Yep. Just gonna click Rock Blast. They try and predict me to double. I don't feel the need to predict. It kind of sucks that they burnt me, but luckily because of the poison, even if I get two hits, we get rid of Torn. Awesome. Speed is now Urshifu's. Urshifu is faster. And if they do that there, who cares? Because I just come in, I get to Roost with Corviknight, and uh, now things got uh, things got pretty annoying for my opponent. Especially because I can go hard sloking now. Throw for a few sludge bombs first. I don't have to worry about Combine Clef because I have uh, I have an unaware Clef. So provided I get like uh, plus we can see if they're unaware as well. If they are, I mean they are, right? At the end of the day, what can I do? If they're unaware Clef. Let's see if we get poison on them. Nope, they are unaware Clef. Okay, so I go Clef. <laughs> and beat them 1v1. Because of my own unaware. Nice. And their team should lose. <laughs> yep. What I say? Right on cue. Again. Nice. So, in the next game, if we fight a Slow King, I would very much like to be able to poison them. Um, within two, three, at least, at least within three Sludge Bombs, I think. I think two is, two is fine. Two, you're walking the, uh, the barrier of it, because, you know, 30%, 30%, which is 51% with the, whatever. But, um, oh god, not zone. <laughs> not bro as well. I think this is going to be the toughest game. Though Combine, uh, Clefable is really good, they have extra plus zone, which are very, very threatening. Incredibly threatening. Um, like, holy crap. Uh, this is probably going to be it. If I had to go based on, uh, uh, if I was Ice Punch, maybe a different play. Or Thunder Punch. Uh, if I had to go based on, like, team matchup, I'd say this might be a no. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we always go Clef because Garchomp is too threatening at the start. But then we go into Tyranitar, so I'm going to go uh, out into my right here. As they go for Thunder, that's what I was scouting for before <laughs> from T from Tyranitar. But um, I like rocks, and I'm gonna SD here. Now the reason I'm SDing is because they have a bro. Bro is very scary, but if it doesn't Skull Burn me, I can beat it. And basically this, oh, and they have Ice Beam, not Skull, and they didn't freeze me. Yes. So a Rock Blast here into Buzzwool. So those are like they have like two great Pokemon that can really come in on everything. I actually think this thing is Choice Scarf. I'm gonna make this Low King play. I actually think you're Choice Scarf. Why am I always wrong? <laughs> Whatever, Sludge Bomb's always the play. Um, literally always. Uh, a Poison on Tyranitar is great. A Poison on Garchomp is phenomenal. Why you don't get Poison? Leftovers. SD. I'm a flame here. Uh, so the reason I made the flame play is because I thought they'd double out to Magnezone expecting Corviknight. So I, I was I was clearly in the wrong. <laughs> I was clearly in the wrong. Uh, but we'll, we'll flame now because they have two steel types that can come in and that's about it. Damn, okay, my opponent knows what they're doing. If this is Rocky Helmet, my period comes out now. They probably go Magnezone anyway. So I messed up uh, stacking Slow King, so that was my, my bad. Always Earthquake on the Buzzwool. Roost, Corvi. They do potentially have Toxic as well. Uh, we still go Clef, though. So the reason I want to Moonblast first is because I'd, I'd get a greedy Toxic off if I was the opponent, even though they have Excadrill. But, yeah. Drill should always be the play. Gonna flame. <laughs> I'm getting all these calls wrong, because uh, I'm I'm very I'm, I'm paranoid. I'm hella paranoid about the uh, the damn zone after. But um, I just sacked two for one. But to be fair, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it anyway. I might be trapped. I am trapped. I I wonder if I can win with these two. <laughs> All right, so we get some chip. Maybe I could defog. Yeah, this one was a wrap. 
I, I played, I played, uh, once I lost Loki, I think I lost, but I think it was really tough anyway, just with Magazone. Um, but regardless, though, once I lost Loki, it became a lot harder. Is that Assault Vest slow, bro? Plus, um, plus Tank or Shifu, I mean, plus Tank Buzzball? Which is really cool. I like that. Damn, or Shifu didn't even knock this thing out. Then again, they were max defense. Good game, bro. Well played. I definitely played it worse, but I think that, like I said, it was going to be very hard. Uh, regardless, um, maybe what I should have tried because they went to our first to Thunder Wave me to get whoa. If this is not the coolest team you've seen today, bro, hold on, I'll take a screenshot of this. Save that for later. I got oh, you know, y'all you want to see another screenshot I got on my, on my computer? I got this one too. That one five. Isn't that the coolest team you've ever seen? Now, I know obviously Scyther makes you disguise like Toxabacks and everything in his car. But I mean it's the same thing here. You got <laughs> you got Vika Volt, which is your Weber, and th Let's save this. Cool team. I like to save cool teams that I fight because I get inspired by them to like make hopefully cooler teams or worse teams. Uh Umbreon's roll, Gengar and Kartana, checked. Or Shifu though. So they go Vika Volt. Now I'm not about to, to not knock it out with Surging Strikes. So I'm going to U-turn out into Sloking here, which is objectively speaking the best play. Though I think Surging Strikes would have devoured them. Uh, but we're going to U-turn out into Sloking here. As they go for Sticky Web. And we're just going to click Flamethrower. Hits their two Steel types that can come in on a Sludge Bomb or whatever. They want to go Drill. I don't really care. It's probably Sash Drill as well. And I got a Corviknight right here. That just comes out and defogs immediately. So they get up rocks. Who cares? I just defog. Oh, I'm okay with that. I don't care about rocks more than I care about webs. Yeah. I'll body press just in case they go hard. Bisharp. Which is a bad play, I think. Yeah, Vika Volt made a lot more sense there. I guess technically your Shifu isn't going to be that big of a problem because I have this. Um, I'll go Sloking then. Let's have a Future Side just for later. I, I think they go Bishop always, but... Oh, okay. And then we get to Flame here and get rid of Vikable. Awesome. If I flamethrower, because this mod isn't that useful. I think I always flame because they're going to SD. Nice. I wonder if they're life orb. They were not. So we get to bring out our Shivu. Click this. Knock them out. Obviously they can go Kartana, but I do have Corviknight. They go to their owner Shifu. Um, so I have Clef. I want to say that Clef is the, the, just hard Clef is the play, because between Clef and, and Corviknight, it should be good. Because if they click Surging Strike, unless their protective pads bulk up. Oof, that is some damage. Excadrill comes out. Right out to Corviknight I go, <laughs> as they die. They made double to Gengar. Actually, Gengar is, like... Legitimately the strongest, uh, the scariest mod in the fight. I think I just um, roost here first. Ooh, that did so much damage. I'm just trying to think, like, I don't want to lose to Kartana. I definitely don't want to lose to Kartana. I'm going to soft butt up again, because I, I won't... If they attack me, I won't die, and they'll die to, to Rocky Helmet, and I don't want Corviknight getting that low either. I haven't shown Flamethrower on my Clefable either, so they may go out to Kartana first, as they go Gengar, which is, again, a pretty solid play. Um, don't think they can knock out Rhyperior. I, I think even after Nasty Plot, they can't knock out Rai. But they definitely can't knock out Umbreon after Nasty Plot. Yep, like I said, after Nasplot, they can't knock out right here. For sure, just click Earthquake again. Oh my god, they they were going to be able to knock me out. Does Umbreon die to this? 
Because if Umbreon doesn't die, I want to keep Umbreon for Kartana. If they click like Sacred Sword and SD and stuff like that, I don't want to have to Aqua Jet in front of their face. But I feel like I do. I feel like Umbreon doesn't die though. That's to be a roll to knock out my mind too. Damn man, why Umbreon die? <laughs> Well, SD Cartana doesn't always run, uh, doesn't always run, uh, what's it called? Smart Strike. So, this still could be a victory for me. But Roost First is my best play anyway, because they can't kill me with anything. Even if they SD here, who cares? Like I said, SD doesn't always run Smart Strike. Which I'm assuming they are. They could be Scarf, I suppose, too. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. Let's get rid of these hazards, that way I don't gotta deal with these for later. Oh man, Umbreon's gonna win at the end, that's awesome! I mean, they did miss Focus Blast, to be fair. Umbreon's legit just gonna win at the end. That's so cool. Alright. Flame probably knocks him out, if it doesn't, this is actually better for me. I had a feeling it wouldn't, because I'm unaware. Uh, because we both go down. And then I get to go Umbreon and click... I get to click foul play twice. Nice, Umbreon ends it. Got pretty lucky though, dodging blast, not gonna lie. Give me that Cartana, Umbreon. Look at Umbreon eating. Is this modest Gengar? I had to be like, yo, you did so much damage. Good game, buddy. And Umbreon put in some work. Umbreon was a good mod there. What time is it? 36 minutes. Probably should end it here. Just because of the uh, fact that I got to record with MV soon as well. But yeah, overall, uh, I, I definitely think that Rashifu was better on this team than Machamp. Uh, but then again, Machamp's really heat. Uh, but yeah, definitely, um, what is something that I could have changed? Uh, obviously, in the Garchomp game, uh, I didn't have to stay on an Earthquake. I just like was definitely scared of... like One of the issues is that obviously they had Stealth Rock up, but also Sand and all that. Like, if it's like... If the Garchomp, excuse me, if the Garchomp went for Earthquake, I don't know if Clefable was 2 AKO with Stealth Rock plus Sand. I don't remember if Sand was even up at that point, but I don't remember, I don't know if Clefable was 2 AKO at that point, so it was tough. Um, but knowing that they were that type of defensive Magna Zone, I probably could have calm minded up with Clef and won. Like, they, that's why they went to Thunder Wave me with Tarantar first, because I knew it would be a problem. Clef taking way too much from these Iron Head from Extra Drills, I want to know. But overall, I think it was a fun live. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, cool to see Umbreon obviously uh, work in a few games and in other games like the defensive backbone and the Rocky Helmet uh, does enough anyway. Like I said, if you guys want this team, check out my website, pokemon.com. Also, um, code AIM is still 30% off for G Fuel. If you guys didn't know, G Fuel is, uh, is this, what is this? Nope, nope, nope. That's Mario Party. What is that? Nope, that's for UCL or other things, not UCL. Uh, stuff, whatever. Uh, G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink, uh, so obviously be aware if you guys want to pick some up. If you guys want to restock, code name is 30% off. Link is always down below. Uh, but it's caffeinated energy drink, so obviously be aware of um, what you're drinking. However, they do have a hydration line, which I personally like and I recommend. It doesn't have any caffeine, any calories. I love the strawberry lemonade, it is my favorite flavor. Uh, and I believe the 30% off ends not tomorrow, but Tuesday. So today and tomorrow, you can still use code name to get 30% off. Uh, in terms of a few other things, I have, um, I mean, I mentioned it before, but I remastered the, well, not me, but my buddy Pedro, remastered the uh, Drop a Draco merch, the first one, the one with Lottie. Uh, so basically, we edited a little bit just because, you know, uh, we have the DP remakes coming out this year. Also, the fact that my old one doesn't fit me at all. So I wanted a new one uh, to be able to, uh, what's it called, to be able to, to fit in my merch uh so it's like i said it's not anything crazy it's just you know it, it got a little bit edited we did a few things just to make it a little bit nice and more up to date and uh yeah so that will be coming out hopefully soon i'm waiting for mine to come in that way i can see if i like it then i was like okay if i like it then i'll let other people then i'll sell it you know but uh yeah uh, it'll be on higher quality than the last one as well so it'll be a little bit more i mean it's gonna be a more expensive period because the last one came out like what damn near six years ago uh, but it'll be nice in my opinion and the quality is going to be different than the original hoodie uh, which is way better because like I said when I watched that first hoodie it shrunk immediately 
<laughs> but yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one. Peace, guys.